Hello all and welcome to another Captain Entertainment video. It's Art here with the least favorite games of 2019 video for you. And just like the least favorite books of 2019, there's only seven on this list. Because in all honesty, I try to avoid bad games and tend not to play them for a very long time. But let us dive in to what... Uh, is on the list and we're going to go in uh, us in the order again because that's the way I like to go from my least offensive to my most offensive titles. No More Heroes Traffic Strikes Again is number seven. It was on the Switch uh, and Windows and it was not what I expected it to be. At all. At all. Uh, it was. It didn't feel like a Suda 51 game. It didn't feel like No More Heroes to me. It was just. Bleh. And that's why it's number seven, is because it was. Bleh. Number six is Crackdown 3. Now you're saying, Art, I can crack down three billion your list if you don't have an Xbox One. That's because I played it right there. I'm seeing it off screen. It's off camera for you guys. But on my Mega Beast PC, I played it for about six hours and realized it was stuck in about 2004 when the first crackdown came out. Uh, they didn't deliver on the promises that they promised. The completely destructible environments were a sham, in my opinion. And were not what it needed to, what they needed to be. The next game I played on Windows as well, as well as my PS4. And that's Tetris Attack. This game is the worst version of Tetris. The Switch has the best version of te Tetris right now, which is Tetris 99. Uh, Tetris Attack is just a clunky, buggy, destructoid of a mess. It is not good. It is not anywhere near what it needs to be and to me it's not Tetris it doesn't even have a basic Tetris mode so it's not good period now the uh, number four through number one are games that I've extensively played but I'm very upset that I extensively played because they are four through one on my least favorite games list. Number four is Wolfenstein Youngblood. And before anybody says, well, you didn't like female protagonists. No, I love the Tomb Raider series. I love good female protagonist games. I have no problem with female protagonists. This game, however, was a clunky shit show of a game. The story didn't make sense. Um, the girls repeated themselves constantly. It was just not a good game. And whether it's a male protagonist, female protagonist, cat protagonist, dog protagonist, octo protagonist, Goose protagonist. If it's not a good game, it's not a good game. And Wolfenstein Youngblood is an awfully terrible game. Now this game, I full well knew, or at least I thought I full well knew, number three, I thought I full well knew how bad it was. And I bought it while it was on deep discount sale. But when it turned over 
to its titular year, it didn't work. And that is WWE 2K20. WWE 2K20 is a shambles of where the series used to be. The collision detection is god awful. The frame rate dropping is constant. Um, the fact that it wouldn't work when the calendar turned to this year for a long while while it was a known bug. The fact that this game is still a buggy shit show of a mess. A buggy This game should not have been released. They should have skipped the year or they should lose their license. This game is terrible. Do not buy 2K20. Do not buy 2K21. Give 2K a wide berth when it comes to the 2K series WWE form. If you like the basketball form, that's up to you. I don't like the basketball form because the gambling is in it. And so the 2K series, sports series, is downright god awful. I don't know if that says anything about the publisher or the developers, but when a game is bad, a game is bad. That's all I can say. Number two on the list is another sports franchise that deserves to be on this list. And that is Madden NFL 20. This game is nothing more than a glorified roster update. This game is a cash-in to its fan base. They are literally EA is EA Tiburon or whoever makes this, I think it's EA Tiburon, is literally stealing its fan base's money. Do not buy men. Stick with my cycle. Of every three years. The last time I bought a Madden. Was Madden 17. The next time I buy a Madden. Will be Madden never. Never again. Will I buy a Madden. Not even full review. Not even. On sale. The only way I play a Madden. Is if EA sends me one. And then I'll probably tear it apart. So you know they're not going to send me one. This game was awful. Bought it on sale on a whim because I don't buy Madden full price. I'll never buy Madden full price again. And Madden 20 is the reason why. When you quit robbing and stealing from your customers and actually make a good game. What's well, a good sports game that makes leaps and bounds every year? MLB The Show. Yes, it's my favorite sports game. Yes, baseball is my favorite sport, but it's my favorite sports game because they make leaps and bounds improvements every year. That's why it's my favorite. So, what is the worst game I played in 2020? Technically, I think it came out in 2019. And that would be Fallout 76. Now, why is Fallout 76 on the list when it came out in 2018? Well, that's because I went back and played it with its new updates. And it's the convention of the Fallout... Um, pass that's $99 it's more than buying the game and Fallout 76 is still a Bethesda buggy mess it's still a shambles of what the Fallout series should be if you want a good Fallout game either play Fallout 3 Fallout New Vegas or hey try the Outer Worlds that was on the best games list 
Fallout 76 should be avoided like the plague, much like Matt. No more heroes deserves a revisit because I are No Man's Sky deserves a revisit because I hear it got an improvement. But Fallout 76 just keeps bombing and bombing and bombing. They haven't even added NPCs yet to this point. And before they added NPCs, they decided to try to charge you $99 for unlimited storage and for the capability of storage, something a Fallout game has always had previous without charging you for. So, you can understand that I am not happy. And without further ado, thank God uh, the list series is over. I hope one day not to do the uh, least favorite books of, of, of whatever year it would be, 2020 in this case we'll say. I hope maybe this year I won't do the least favorite books of 2020. And I won't do the least favorite games of 2020 because everything I touch will be great. But unfortunately... You're going to run into stinkers. And sometimes I intentionally run into stinkers because I wanted to see how bad WWE 2K20 was. Thank God I got it on sale, but I will not play it ever again. You turn fans off when you make bad games. You turn fans off and it makes it feel that somebody along the chain, be it the developer or the publisher, I'm not saying the programmers, the programmers I'm sure work their ass off with what they're given and try the best with what they're given. But somewhere along the line, the chain of quality breaks. There's nothing more to say about it. There's nothing more to do about it. That's just what it is. Thank goodness it's over and you're gonna get the um, a book review on Wednesday and this is where I say you know I make videos every Monday Wednesday and Saturday at 12 30 p.m. Central 10 30 a.m. Pacific and 1 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time please like comment subscribe if you want to see more please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video if YouTube is working today because we all know YouTube doesn't like to work but let me know what your least favorite games that you played last year were in the comments down below or a real stinker that you uh, we're expecting to be a good one in the comments down below. And without further ado, game on, people. I'll see you again soon. And peace.